guys. Remember the video I made, uh, I think last week of, uh, of my thoughts on Dragon Ball Multiverse? Well, uh, that was basically because, you know, I uh, wanted to share my thoughts with it and uh, kind of wanted to get out of the way because I wanted to make some topic videos on Dragon Ball Multiverse. You know, I've enjoyed it for quite a while. I think I've been reading it for about two years or so. Uh, not everything from it, but, you know, the main story. Anyway, uh, the first topic I want to talk about is uh, who is stronger than Goku in Dragon Ball Multiverse. Now, I'm sure if we've read it, then it's obvious that Goku isn't the strongest, even though he's the strongest in his own universe, obviously. And before we get into this, just know that uh, the writers of Multiverse didn't take into account Battle of Gods, mostly because it's happened after Multiverse was... Uh, was uh, written, or started to be written, so it would be too complicated if they included Battle of Gods. Anyway, the first one is obvious, it's Vegito. Firstly, it's obvious because it's pretty much the same time period, or the same amount of time passes, like 10 years after Z, and since Vegito is half Goku anyway, it would make quite a bit of sense if Vegito were stronger than Goku. So, to me, that one's kind of obvious. And uh, in Dragon Ball Multiverse, uh, I like Vegito because uh, he's, he seems similar to the way he is in the series, but a little more, uh, let's say, serious. But that's mostly because he's had to fight strong opponents like Broly, for instance. And in Dragon Ball Multiverse, he's shown to not only be Super Vegito, but he's also able to be Super Saiyan 2 and... Believe it or not, even Super Saiyan 3. And uh, obviously it's the first time we've seen him uh, turn to Super Saiyan 3, but that's mostly because he hasn't been challenged that much yet. Keep in mind, the only time we saw him in the manga was uh, when he fought uh, Majin Buu, when he absorbed Gohan. And even then, he wasn't really trying, let's be honest. Now the second one that I think is uh, stronger than Goku is Bra. And this one's also kind of obvious because, one, she was trained by Vegito, which would make her pretty strong in and of itself. And two, she's the daughter of Vegito and uh, Bo Bulma. Now, of course, in Universe 18, which is our universe, you know, Bra does exist. However, I mean, he still trunks his younger sister, except, you know, he's born to Vegeta and Bulma, not Vegito and Bulma. So here, she's a fighter, and she can go Super Saiyan 1 and 2. I don't know about 3, but, yeah, when you put it that way, it's pretty obvious to anyone who reads it that she's stronger than Goku, as she's the daughter of Vegito. And we've seen how strong children of uh, powerful Saiyans can be. Anyway, the third one's also pretty obvious. It's uh, Broly. Their version of Broly here is actually strong enough to pushed Vegito to his limit. In fact, he was so powerful that Broly actually uh, forced Vegito not only to become a Super Saiyan 3, but also to use a technique called Final com no, dr final Dragon uh, Flash or something like that. It's basically a combination of uh, Final Flash and uh, Dragon Fist. And uh, it looks pretty badass. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's Broly. And, uh, believe it or not, there's also, uh, another one who I would suspect is stronger than Goku, and that's Gas Kargoth. Uh, according to Dragon Ball Multiverse, Gas Kargoth was a... Basically, uh, Frieza came to their planet, except in this reality, they, uh, all the Namekians fused together, so they became Gas Kargoth. And as such, they killed Frieza, and uh, they even talk about how he goes on to kill Cell and uh, even Majin Buu. So I suspect if he's that strong, then uh, at least if he pushes himself to his limit, he probably would be able to beat Goku. I figure, considering the, the amount of power that Namekian gets while fusing with another Namekian, and that's just one. Like, remember how Piccolo fused with Nail and he was stronger than everyone, including Vegeta? And yet, later on, when he, let's say, refused or whatever with uh, Kami, 
he became stronger than all the Super Saiyans, despite how much power they've gained. So imagine if all the the Mechians fused. So anyway, the last one that I think is definitely stronger than Goku is uh, Zen Buu. And this one's also, uh, uh, if you actually read the a bit about Zen Buu, he mentions that he absorbed uh, Goku and Vegeta, as well as everyone else that was left on Earth, who he deemed strong enough to be worth absorbing. So because of this, uh, because he absorbed not only Goku and Vegeta, but he also absorbed Gohan, he absorbed well I, well, I guess he would keep Gohan as a, as a, one of his absorbees, but he absorbed any, what he thought, powerful being in his universe, so he would have gotten a lot stronger. So he doesn't really even need to train, he's just that powerful. Many even suspect that Zen Vu is the strongest of the tournament, period. So, uh, anyway, that's the people who I think are stronger than uh, Goku in this tournament. So, if he were to go up against them, don't be surprised if Goku were to lose. Anyway, uh, it's been my video, so uh, see you guys next week.